Hello everyone and welcome for a new video about level design. In this episode, we're gonna talk about a very common trick for improving the performance of your game scenes, the usage of LOD. In the context of asset creation, LOD is an acronym for Level of Detail, and in a nutshell, it's a sort of measurement for how low def or high def your 3D model is. What we often do in games is that when we know an asset will be used in various contexts, and in particular at different distances from the camera, we prepare several variations of it with graded LODs. This way you can pick the very high definition LOD, often called LOD0, to show all the little details and make it as realistic as possible, but then use an other variation with a LOD of 1 or 2 as the object moves away or if its speed increases. Typically, let's say I have this model of a spaceship in my game. When it's on the main menu screen, it should be huge and well detailed. But now, if I scale it down like this in an other screen, I could totally swap out my high definition model for something more low poly. The proof being that I actually just did and you probably didn't notice. That's not on you, that's on the fact that at this scale, and in the context of the 3D game, at a certain distance from the camera, objects are just too tiny for our eyes to see the details. Therefore, there is no need to put such detail. Now, the reason why we are trying to reduce the details of the 3D models in a real-time render situation, like a video game, is because the higher the number of polygons in your asset, the heavier the toll it takes on the graphics computation. And as your scene grows and you start to fill it with more assets, this enormous workload can eventually lead to pretty laggy results. By using LODs, you ensure that the computing power is used where it's most useful. The trick is then to handle the switch well so that this is invisible to the player's eye. Usually, LODing an object should be done by hand, so that you keep a correct topology and you simplify the right parts, to avoid impacting the visuals too much. However, there are also some algorithms for automating the process. For example, if you use Blender, you can take advantage of the Decimate modifier to quickly remove the details on a mesh. But you see that its results are less than ideal. Finally, note that this idea of switching between different versions depending on the required resolution can also be applied to textures thanks to the technique of MIP mapping. Alright, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this quick tips and techniques tutorial about level design and that you learned a few things to improve your scene's performance thanks to LOD. If you did, feel free to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And of course, don't hesitate to leave a comment with your ideas for future level design tutorials. As always, thanks for watching and take care.